Hello and all, welcome to a Galaxy Man Show interview show. Uh, so for today's guest is this incredible singer and songwriter known by the name of Holly uh, Clausius. Uh, so I'm about to add Holly into the live now to have a chat with Holly about her incredible music that she's um, performed before. So yeah, let's add Chloe in and have a chat with Chloe. So yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, Holly. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for yeah. having me. You're very welcome. So to people that don't know who you are, Holly, uh, can you give me like a bit of backstory about who you are and what you do? And then we'll dive like right into the questions. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I'm a singer songwriter here in Toronto, Canada. Um, I've been making music since I was little and uh, been a full-time musician for the past couple of years now. And I put out my first EP Sunflower last year. Congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you. You're very welcome. So we'll dive right into the questions now. So you have actually created uh, numerous of incredible songs uh, in the past. So you have created a song called Falling for Friends. Uh, what was like the whole experience like getting to create this song? And you also have created a music video for it. What was the whole experience like creating creating music video for it too? Yeah, that was a really fun one. We actually did that during the pandemic. So we had to basically from home, I was like sending my producer stuff and we, uh, got a jazz band to do trumpets and stuff on it. So that was really cool. And the music video was also really cool. Um, we did it in my apartment. So we didn't even have to like rent a studio or anything. One camera and me. And yeah, a lot of fun. Awesome. So for my very next question, what's the meaning behind uh, Falling for Friends? Like, how did you come up with the idea of wanting to create this song? Yeah, Falling for Friends is a really personal one. It's, um, it's basically about a time where I fell for one of my friends who didn't feel the same about me. So I kind of wrote this song and uh, helped me get through that time. Yeah. Awesome. So my very next question. So you have actually created this other incredible song as you mentioned before, called Sunflower. Uh, congratulations on that again, by the way. Uh, what was like the whole experience like creating Sunflower? It was really special because Sunflower was my first EP. It just had a lot of meaning to it. And I got to record like all of the guitar parts and harmonies myself as well, which felt like a huge accomplishment. Awesome. So what's the meaning behind Sunflower, if I may ask? <laughs> Yeah, Sunflower is, is dedicated to my late friend who passed away a few years ago. And it's kind of a song I wrote to anyone who's like struggling with mental illness or feels alone. It's kind of a song to let people know that you're not alone and there are people who care about you and want to hear. Awesome. So on the very next question, so you have actually also created this other incredible song called Set Me Free. What was like the whole experience like creating Set Me Free and what's the meaning behind this song? Yeah, Set Me Free was the first one we did once the pandemic hit. So it was our first like experimenting with recording from home and you know, we didn't really know how it would turn out, but it actually got on the radio. So that was a really cool uh, experience. And the song itself is about, again, like falling for somebody who doesn't feel the same and wishing that you could not feel that way anymore. Awesome. So I'm going to very next question. So you have also created a song called Muse. Uh, what was like the whole experience like creating this song? My Muse was like, it was the second song I think I put out. And it was, um, it was really fun. You know, like I, I created this song because interviewers always would ask me like, what's your, who's like your biggest inspiration? So I just kind of made a song that had like all of the answers in one song. <laughs> That's very cool. By the way, I have to say, My Muse was such an incredible song. I've had to listen to it, and it was truly incredible. So I have to say, like, your performance with singing My Muse was sensational. So congratulations on singing that, by the way. Thank you. You're very welcome. So on to my very next question. So you have also created this other incredible song called A Little Piece of Me. What was, like, the whole experience, like, getting to create this song? A Little Piece of Me. My first single so there it was really fun and, and nerve-wracking but um we did it in my old apartment just like in the living room and it was it was really cool because i didn't know how it would turn out but it, it turned out really well so yeah awesome so on to the very next question so who inspired like who inspired you as a person to get into performing and singing in the first place so i don't think it was like one person who inspired me but i think disney movies would be like a inspiration 
Um, my favorite movie was like uh, The Little Mermaid growing up and that really got me into singing and yeah, just those kind of movies that made me want to like act and sing at the same time. Awesome. So I'll have very next question. So if you could work with like any top three music artists in the industry, who would they be and why? Mm, this is a tough question. There's a lot of people I'd love to work with. Um, I think the first person, it'd be like a duo, it'd be Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas, um, because Phineas is a great producer, and Billie Eilish's vocals, like, I think really uh, good with mine. And secondly, I'd probably say Lady Gaga, just because I'm a huge fan, and she has such a wide range, like, she does the pop stuff, but I feel like we could really do, like, a slowed down acoustic stuff together as well. And lastly tough one i'm gonna say feist she's a canadian musician and uh we have very similar i would say songwriting styles so i would love to work with her awesome so on to my very next question so what have you learned about yourself like especially during covid yeah i've learned a lot of things covid has really kind of made me realize that before the pandemic i was very like go 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 and very like not really living in the moment and I think now I'm learning to like appreciate things a lot more and not take anything for granted anymore. So I'll have a very next question. So what have, like wh what made you want to get into performing music in the first place? Like what does music mean to you as a person? <sighs> music, I think just the connecting with other people, you know, I wasn't very good as, as like a kid talking to people but when i could write songs and like express myself that way i felt a lot more comfortable um so music is kind of just like the way that i get to connect with people from all around the world so i hear your next question so like what are the positives and negatives into like the whole music industry and how do you get through those negatives as a person there's a, there's a lot of positives and negatives, I would say, but I'm going to just list one of each. So I think positive-wise, getting, again, to connect with people, you know, you can sing a song and they can sing it back to you for so many different reasons. That's a quote that I heard, and, like, I love that people can interpret your songs in different ways. Um, and the negatives, like, I feel, like, obviously the way that Spotify and some places pay artists is not as much as I think they deserve and also just the way women sometimes are treated in the music industry i think there's a lot of amazing songwriters and producers who are women, but we don't sometimes get the same opportunities so that would probably be the negative for me so i have a very last question so like what's next for you like music wise that you would like to announce on the show um so this year is really exciting i'm, I'm doing my first full-length album this year all from home so I've been working on that, and I also have a single coming out on May 6th, so that's exciting. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, would you like to perform one of your songs, by the way, on the show? Sure, yeah, of course. I guess I'll do um, Falling for Friends, because we talked about that one. All right. I didn't think I'd feel this strongly. Uh, 
again. But I got a case of you and I. so much uh for taking the time to come on to my show it's been such a pleasure uh having you on my show uh do you have like any last final thoughts that you like to say to people on the show um no just thank you so much for having me it's really cool that we can connect you're in australia right so it's just so cool that you reached out yeah thank you 